Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing some altered playing cards. The prompt in the Facebook group this week is either altered playing cards or artist trading cards. I've got three cards here in front of me. These were from this set here, Waddington's. Um, I'm going to start off by adding some clear gesso. Now in the past I've always um, sanded my playing cards down because of course they have a shiny finish um, but somebody left a message on one of my older videos this week saying do you have to do that and I thought well actually I'm going to see if um, gesso will do the trick without having to sand because I know that some of you don't like the dust I'm using clear gesso here you could use white it's just that I like to see the playing card um, underneath my my finished design so I'm just adding a thin layer to each of these three three cards and this is just the Windsor and Newton clear gesso as I've said you could use white um, if, if that's all, all you've got and um, you know if you still want to see the design underneath just add a really thin layer has dried it dries incredibly quickly and it gives you a really nice um, gritty finish to be able to work on of course playing cards in their own right have a very slick shiny finish which is why I always sand mine down um, I'm hoping that this will do, uh, do the job just as well um, without the dust that goes with it now my next step is to add some tissue paper to these designs I've got um, two pieces of tissue wrap here these are Tim Holtz ideology I'm also going to do one with um, a base layer of a napkin and stamp on it to give you um, another idea as well. The Tim Holtz Ideology Tissue Wrap is Melange and Postal. So those are the two designs that I'm going to be using. I'll also use the base layer of a napkin. Um, let's glue the tissue paper down to start off with. Let's start off with this one here. This one is Melange. Um, and I think let's start off with the red one in the middle. In fact, actually, I won't. What I'll do is I'll do the tissue paper on the two black ones and something different on the on the others. I'm going to glue that part of the tissue paper down to start off with. And I'm just going to use some gel medium to do that. Let's just cut um, a piece of this off just to make it easier to work with. There we go. We can pop that um, out of the way. Let's just pop the other ones to one side for a second. I'm just using gel medium. And again, this is Winter and Newton Galleria matte medium um, this is the really thin stuff um, I've already been and washed my brush from the gesso um, don't leave gesso or glue on your brushes because um, they will just be be ruined just make sure that you go off and wash them in between I might need um, a bit more glue especially around the the edges here we are make sure I've got some a nice thin and even layer with no bubbles and, um, and bumps and things. I've got a brush mark or piece of dust or something in there. Let's get rid of, rid of that. And I'm just going to pop a piece of this tissue paper over, over the top. Let's have it there like, like that. And I'm just pressing this down with my fingers just to make sure that that um, adheres properly. And then I'm just going to apply another layer of glue or matte medium over, over the top. If, um, if it's not sticking underneath, it dries really quickly because it's so, I'm applying such a thin layer. We can just lift it up and that should be, should be fine. But I like the fact that you can still see the playing card underneath one I'm going to be using the postal design now this is really hard because there are two pieces of this that I really like I absolutely love the plainness of the text um, but I also like this area here as well I think I'm just going to keep it simple and just use um, the text change my mind I've found this piece here which I really like so I've got the text but I've also got um, a little bit of interest here as well um, so that's the piece I'm going to use the last one I'm just going to apply um, an underlayer this is a single ply of a napkin again I'm just going to apply it with matte medium let's apply some of this evenly all over the playing card 
there we are and we'll just put a piece of this straight down over over the top and you'll see why I'm doing this in a second I'm also going to apply some matte medium over the top of this as well being really gentle this is is really fragile working from the center and working my way out to avoid any any wrinkles if we get a few that's fine it's inevitable um, but that's pretty, pretty good. And I'm just going to set these off to one side for them to, to dry and go and wash my brush as well to get rid of the um, matte medium so that my brush doesn't um, set rock hard. Add my playing cards weighted down with parchment paper on top to stop it sticking with heavy books and household bricks. Yes, I keep household bricks in my craft room. <laughs> I know, how mad is that? Um, but all I'm doing now is just um, using an emery board to file the excess paper away. It comes away really easily and I just think this gives the neatest finish. So I'm just going, you can see how clearly um, that's coming away. I've already done um, these two here. Of course, we've got our two um, busy backgrounds here using the tissue paper. For this one here, I've just used a piece of a napkin and I've got um, a stamp. This is from the Tim Holtz Entomology. You can use any stamp you like for this. I'm just going to use some memento ink. You do need something permanent. So I am just going to add some ink to my stamp. Make sure I get um, a really good amount on there. Let's just move those two out of the way because I don't want those um, with ink on. And try not to, oh, what's a daisy? Try not to overthink it. Mine's clearly come off my stamp. I'm just going to press, press this down. Just hold it for a second or two just for the ink to grab. We've got added texture because of course mine fell off. You can already see that I've tried to clean um, my stamp at some point and it wiped all of the image of the stamp away. I think I'd used um, acetone or isopropyl alcohol um, but there we go we've got some really nice detail on that one now as well. So those are my three um, basic backgrounds my basic backgrounds and of course this will add some interest for whatever um, I add on top next and for my next layer I'm going to use some napkins I've got some of the ones that I received from Ninny's napkins I'll leave the link to their store in the description box below um, I'll also share the unboxing as well so that you can see um, a selection of the wonderful array of napkins that she has available so I've got these two here which I thought went really well together and these two here um, I am going to use Use these ones here as my basic um, backgrounds and how am I going to do this decision made I'm going to add this one with the um, beautiful ladybug on it to the one with the red design because I think color wise that will go really well and then I'm going to add a piece of each of this napkin one to either side onto these um, th these playing cards here so what I'll do is just cut my napkin just into a quarter. Now, of course, um, napkins are either usually two or three ply. How many plies have we got on this one here? I think this one is three. I'm just wetting my finger and just pulling the plies apart this way. Of course, um, you could have used one of these layers here to do, to do this part. Back in with the matte medium, I'm just going to apply a layer of matte medium over the top of this again smooth it out with my with my brush do them both at the same time you need to move quickly with this because the matte medium dries incredibly quickly and what I will do is um, turn this upside down let me just wipe some of this glue glue off and I'm just going to glue one onto one side like that and one onto the onto the other And I'm just going to put a piece of that parchment paper there over the top and just weight this down with a heavy book. You can see that the napkin is now glued down. I'm just going to cut these apart. And again, I'll just go around the edges with my emery board just to take the excess away. But how pretty is that? And you can see all the lovely design from the Tim Holtz tissue paper that I've used that's underneath. 
these pretty and I just love the fact that you can still see that they're playing cards underneath um, as well. For this one I've decided to use this napkin so again I just need to take the plies apart. This is three ply again. They do vary. Some are two ply, some are three ply. I think some are even um, four. Now let's have a look what part of this napkin do I want to use. I think um, something like that. So I'm just going to glue this down in the same way as I did before onto my background. That's what my three basic backgrounds look like. I'm really happy with those. So let's work on the focal images. These are the two napkins that I want to use for my focal images. Absolutely love these. They're just so pretty. Um, what I'm going to do again, as I've done before, is take the pliers apart. I only want um, the one layer. My plan is to stabilise these napkins napkins so that we can fussy cut them out to use them as focal images. I'm going to be doing it using freezer paper. So I've got the Reynolds um, freezer paper, which is plastic coated. Um, I know that um, you guys across the pond will probably be able to do this with saran wrap or something similar. Unfortunately, our cling wrap or cling film, as we call it here, just does not work. So for anybody in the UK, you'll need to either use fusible wedding, uh, webbing or Reynolds freezer of paper. Um, if I can find links, I'll leave them in the description box below. So I have just cut off a piece of freezer paper and this has a plain paper backing on one side and a shiny side, a glue side on the other. And what I'm going to do is just place my napkins onto the freezer paper. I've got my iron um, heating up to my right hand side as well. And then I am just going to place a piece of parchment paper over the top. You make sure that you, you do this because otherwise all the glue is just going to stick um, to your iron and ruin it. So I've got two pieces of parchment paper, one underneath my freezer paper, my napkins, and then another piece of parchment paper on top. And let me just lift my, my camera up a little bit so that you can see better and I'm just going to iron these until it sticks and this will give me proper napkin paper you'll see the difference between the two in a in a second and I've got this on a medium setting um, no steam on this one this is my craft iron you can see I've got wax from previous <laughs> projects all dripping down the side it's absolutely fine this is only ever used um, for crafts so I'm just going to iron, iron this. Um, as I've said, for um, my friends across the pond, you could do this with saran wrap and um, A4 copier paper or letter size copier paper, I think you call it, um, over there. You can now see that my napkin has become nice and opaque. It's glued down to this background. And so what I want to do is just fussy cut out some of these images. Let me just take these apart. Cut out three embellishments that I want to use from those napkins. Two gorgeous butterflies and the um, birdhouse. I do want to go over these with some matte medium before I do anything with them, just to help stabilise them. And because freezer paper isn't um, permanent, so I'm just going to add some gel medium, matte medium over the top of these, which will just stiffen it um, ever so slightly. Just make them a little bit more stable. And this dries so quickly as well. Let's build our focal images into our backgrounds. I'm going to be using some Distress Ink in frayed burlap, and I'm just going to carefully just ink around the edges just to frame it and just so that it stands out more um, on my, my background. And I also want to go around the outside of the playing cards as well. Grunge these up and give these a border and frame them. And then we'll see what we can do with the backs um, of these in a second. Um, normally, when I'm doing um, altered playing cards, I glue three together. But I thought I'd do something um, a little bit different this time. Um, so I've only got my, my one single single layer. Aren't these pretty? Now I've decided, I've come up with another idea. I want to add some embossing ink to my focal images let me just flatten these. I'm just going to um, apply some clear embossing ink to all three of these and this will help um, stabilise them as well because um, although they're a lot more stable and opaque than they were, they're still a little bit flimsy. 
Whereas by adding clear embossing powder, we'll still be able to see the colours. It will give it a bit of shine and just make them a bit more durable as well. So I'm putting these onto a piece of um, copier paper and I'm just going to apply some clear embossing powder. So let's do this. Now I haven't got much left, so I might need to um, do these two and then put the powder back in so that I've got enough for my, my bird cage. Can we do it? I think we can. Here we are. So let's just um, tip the um, excess off. I should have uh, grabbed um, a pair of tweezers, but there we are. Not very organised, so I'm just tipping the excess powder, powder off and then I'm just going to pour this straight back um, into my jar. And then I'm just going to heat set these um, little embellishments and they'll go nice and uh, shiny and hopefully be a lot more durable. Just look at that magic happen when the um, powder melts. How shall we glue these down? Now, I like everything to have a little bit of dimension. This one here, I do want to be flat though. Um, so I think I'm just going to use some of my Colal glue. Three in one is exactly the same stuff. I've got mine in this Sugar Bell um, icing bottle. Somebody asked me about this last week. This was not my idea. This was recommended to me a couple of years ago by one of my followers and they are really expensive to get hold of here um, because they have to be imported from America and I resisted the urge but oh my goodness me it's a game changer I just absolutely love it it just um the the glue is so much easier to um to use when it comes out of this fine fine nozzle so we've got some of that on and I'm just going to stick stick this down let me just try and centralize this and i'm just going to weight that down um, let's grab another piece of parchment paper and i'm just going to weight that down underneath a heavy book it's glued down and of course i can just um trim that little bit of the bottom so that one there is um is finished how cute does that look um, and let's do these two here now i've got the butterflies where do I want these to go? If I put this one down here, I think it's too much pink. So I think that one should go there and the turquoise one here. Um, so again, I'll use my, my three in one um, Kalal glue. I'm just going to apply a thin bead to the antenna and the body. And then I want this to have just a, a little bit of dimension. So I'm not going to apply it all over the wings just want the body and antenna which are the most um, flimsy parts glued down let's have that there let's just put the parchment paper over the top just so that we can just burnish it down isn't that pretty that's so cute and i'll do the same with them um, with this one here i think i'll have that one there about there like that. I'm really happy with how these have turned out, but I need to do something with the backs. They're really flimsy. As I've said before, normally I glue um, three cards together. Um, I want to do something different with these. I'm going to use some um, coffee uh, stain type paper. I'm going to use a glue stick. So I'm just going to apply plenty of glue over, over the back. Now, of course, I haven't sanded these down. I'm trying this just to see how well they stick. And if they don't, then, you know, I'll be back to my, my sanding method. But we'll see. Um, you know, nothing ventured, nothing nothing gained. And it might save a, a lot of time. It was just that somebody asked me the question um, last week. I'm also going to apply some of my three in one as well, just around the edges, just to give it a bit of extra power, staying power as it as it were. Let's move that out of the way. Um, let's just um, get rid of that blob. So I'm just going to apply some of my Kalal glue just around the edge. And I'm just going to spread this out with my finger as well, just to make sure that it gets right to the very very edge. I'm only doing it um, on the edge, not on the inside, but I will, as I've said, just spread it out with my with my finger. 
Apologies for the state of my nails. This nail polish has been on for, for 10 days. These are not um, true gel nails either. These are ones that um, I paint myself. Gel nails are horrendous. They just ruin your nails big time. I would never, ever have them ever again. In fact, I'll have that one um, in the middle. And two on on either side and again I'm just going to weight this down with a heavy book I'll put some parchment paper over over the top just to make sure that doesn't stick and then I can cut these out and if you're wondering whether I've put it on the wrong side and um, this is double-sided paper this is how these are looking so I'm just going to fussy cut and um, around the edges and then just sand any excess away just using a nail file Let's just add one more finishing touch. I've pulled out some of the Tim Holtz small talk um, quotes here. Live in the moment. Where do I want these to go? I think I want that one there. Let's just use some more glue. I've already um, inked around the edges of these. These will not stick very well on their own, as we know. So let's have live in the moment. That one can go on that one um own your dreams i think this one can go over over here Own your dreams we'll have that one there i think just trying to make sure that i've got this straight because otherwise that's going to really bother me now this one here make today count i'm going to chop that and have this in two so make today, just because I've got the um, ridge here where the birdhouse stump is, make today, let me just make sure I don't get this upside down. So make today, in fact, I need to trim, trim that ever so slightly because it's a bit too long. Make today, oh gosh, this is really sticky. Make today count. And again, I'll just um, trim this so that both both ends are even and just put a dab of glue on and that's those um those cards finished aren't they just lovely let me just slide that one over ever so ever so slightly i know that somebody's bound to ask um the question what is the point of these well for one um these are collector's items in the same way as artist trading cards so you can swap these with your friends um i normally add charms to mine um i've done several of these and i'll leave a link to my playlist in the description box below um this is another one i did with art by marlene um products and a napkin as the base and you can see what i've done with this one here i've added a charm on the bottom and just a little hanger I think these are really cute this one has got three um, playing cards glued together so it's much more more stable I could of course add a little charm onto these if I wanted to do you remember my last video where I made these cute little um, dried flower embellishments I could punch a hole and I could add one of these on the bottom or in the top right hand corner or something like that but I'm going to leave these ones plain for the time being these could be used in journals this could be a journaling spot or you know glued down on two sides and used as a tuck spot so many ways to use these but i just think they're really fun to make i just could not resist adding a few white dots with a paint pen um, and a few dots to the bird's eye i don't know whether you can see here that's just made these pop off the page i think um all the more it's made them stand out more against the background well i'm leaving the video here for today but if you've enjoyed it as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now